In today's gaming news, the next Battlefield game is revealed, Minecraft's Notch releases Cliff Horse, and E3 2014 kicks off today. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. My name is Force, here with your day's gaming news. First up today, after about a week of leaks, we have finally gotten the official reveal of the next Battlefield game, titled Hardline. Now this is in development by Visceral Games and will focus on the police rather than military conflicts. Uh, the game is supposed to be featuring things like hostage rescue, heists, car chases, and a capture the flag mode known as Blood Money. Uh, basically what it seems like we can expect is a traditional battlefield experience but skinned as cops and robbers instead of this military versus that military in some major conflict. And you know what, I think this is a good change of Pace, even if it is just a reskin. We've seen past military conflicts and current military conflicts and future military conflicts, and I feel like we really haven't gotten a lot of cops and robbers games. So it's it's kind of nice to see something along those lines, especially in a big AAA title here uh, like a Battlefield. Now I'll be interested to see what the release schedule for this is. I don't believe we have a window as of yet. I have to assume it won't be coming out this fall, but that could be wrong and there could already be information out there. I just haven't seen anything. Uh, I do know though that during today's big event, which we'll be talking about later in the feed, which is E3, uh, and over the next couple of days, we will probably get some more solid information about Battlefield, but again, just expect a basic Battlefield experience cops and robbers. That's essentially it. Uh, next up in news, we have a brand new game that was just released known as Cliff Horse. This is coming. It's kind of a joke. This is coming from Minecraft's Notch. It was released today. It's free to play. doesn't cost you a cent. You can download it in under a minute. Uh, it's a very small file size. It appears to be a game that was built on the Unity engine. It's a, uh, uh, it's Cliff Horse. You ride a horse, or you don't even ride a horse. You control a horse around cliffs. What do you do? Can you jump? Can you collect points? Do you have to go to checkpoints? Are there quests? Are there other horses to interact with? No, 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 and no. There's absolutely nothing to do in this game, but WASD your horse around cliffs. Now, it's kind of funny because you can go up vertical cliffs and you can, you know, walk horizontally along the side, a cliff hanger, if you will. Um, I don't know what the point of this is. Now, I don't... Okay, a couple things. I think this is probably a joke. This seems like something that a man with a lot of money and a whole bunch of free time decided to just whip up and, and release it. There's literally no game to it, and that's not a complaint. I'm not angry or angsty. I just want to let you know. I don't even know why I'm bringing this up. I just thought it was kind of funny. Cliff horse. You, it's There's nothing to do, but there's a horse and some cliffs, and you can move it around. I, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, no idea, but you can download it right now for free, uh, and it should be free because there's nothing to do. And last up in news today, E3 2014 kicks off today, and we should expect a whole bunch of news and announcements about upcoming games releasing later in 2014, but probably primarily titles that will be coming out in 2015, as the release schedule for the rest of this year, as of now, does seem pretty thin. Uh, new releases and reveals, uh, new news is expected, new titles Titles that we haven't heard about will probably be revealed, uh, but as of now, as of the recording of this video, none of that has taken place. We have just gotten a bunch of trailers for various games. Next couple of days, we'll be seeing some big things coming out of E3. Uh, nothing new for me to really cover now, but once that happens in the next Force Feed, I'm sure to talk about some of those new reveals, and you can keep an eye on various gaming sites, and I'm sure if you follow any big gaming places on Twitter, that stuff will be posted all throughout the day uh, as new new information does come out. And that is going to do it for today's episode of The Feed. Couple of extra things I want to let you guys know about. Number one, uh, the Dota 2 compendium has reached over $9 million. There's just so much money. And then lastly, Microsoft has been in talks about the future of Kinect. If you didn't know about this, uh, they did recently reveal that they will be releasing a version of the Xbox One Sans Kinect, and it will be $100 cheaper. So they're going for direct competition with the PlayStation 4 here. And they recently started talking about the future of Kinect and how it might not be directly tied to gaming. And I think 
I guess we've just finally come around to that realization that this is at the moment of the way that technology exists and the way it's been incorporated into video games has not caught on at all. Uh, gamers have not been that interested, at least the vast majority of them, uh, obviously, because if it was as big of a deal as they would have liked it to be, they would have kept it in the Xbox One, they would have forced it out there, and we would be seeing more games incorporated with it, but that just hasn't been the case. They're stripping it out of the Xbox One, and honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's episode of the show. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think about any of the topics discussed here today. How do you feel about the idea of Battlefield Hardline, a cops and robbers version of Battlefield? Will you check out Cliff Horse? And uh, any predictions for E3 2014? I honestly don't have anything. That's why I didn't say anything. Uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing what does come out, and I'll let you guys know about it when that happens. Thanks so much for watching the show. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you have a great day. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been Force-fed. I feel like I have to cut back on my outro. I keep adding new things. Keep watching and keep owning. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If this is Force, you've been Force Fed. Hope you have a fantastic, I do want you to have a fantastic day and I want you to know this is the Force Feed, so maybe I'll just do those too. I just keep adding stupid, stupid things to the end of my, it's just even this thing, even this segment. What is this segment? This is the worst segment. You guys just watch me complain about stuff and make jokes that are bad and, and, and do what I'm doing here. What? We need to get rid of this, I think. Yeah? Nah, you guys love it. <laughs>